and music. All right, let's get moving and grooving with our Matt Pilates session today. We're going to start with our warm up. So we're going to hop down onto the ground. We're going to lie down on our backs, feet planted on the floor, knees bent towards the ceiling, arms by our side. Four hundred. Let's bring our knees towards our chest so our feet come up off the ground. Lift your forehead towards your knees. Shoulder blades come off the ground, engaging your core. Lift your hands up off the ground to hip height. Palms are still face down. Option to extend your legs to a 45 degree angle. Pump your arms up and down a few inches with lots of power. So a few inches up, a few inches down. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Breathing in and out. This is our first warm up exercise, activating our abs, focusing our arms. Keep your lower back glued to the ground. If your lower back is rising off the ground, maybe bend your knees or bring your legs up a little bit higher. Nice strong pumps, breathing in and out. Nice job, keep pumping, keep pumping. And three, two, one. Bend your knees towards your chest, rest your head. Legs go back down to the ground. Let's do our roll up. So we're gonna do our roll up. Option to do sit ups or crunches here. Choose your own adventure or follow along with me. Legs go long on the ground, legs are straight. Glue your legs together, feet are flexed. Arms go up towards the ceiling. Arms are extended long, fingertips point up. And curl chin to chest. And then reach your arms forward towards your legs, get doing a full sit up. Upper body comes up and forward. And then roll back down one vertebrae at a time. From here, continue going to do your roll ups or your sit ups or your crunches, whatever you choose. Trying to, if you are doing those roll ups with your legs extended, trying to keep your legs glued to the ground so that they do not rise as you come up. Mine always rise my first couple as I'm warming up my abs. And then as I continue going, they start to stick towards the ground. All right. All right, wherever you're at, go ahead and rest your head. We're gonna come into single leg circle. So laying down on your back, whole body is long, arms are by your sides, palms face down, more arms on the ground as well. Bend your right knee in towards your chest so that your foot, right foot comes off the ground. And then extend your right um, leg straight, point it towards the ceiling. For single leg circles, we start moving across the body. So we're gonna move our leg into a circular motion, moving to the left, down, out to the right, and up. And continue moving at your own pace. The size of your circles is gonna be dependent on your hips. So if you can keep your hips stable and not moving, make the circle bigger. If you're having trouble stabilizing your hips, make the circle smaller. Stabilizing your hips by pushing your hips down to the ground, push low back into the ground. Let's reverse directions, going clockwise this time. To the right, down to the left and up. To the right, down to the left and up. Really pushing your belly button down, pushing your spine down, pushing your hips down. Push down through your hands for stabilization. All right, bend that knee in towards your chest and then extend it long on the ground. Let's repeat and do it on the other side. Bend your left knee into your chest. Extend your left leg long, point your toe towards the ceiling. We go across the body first, so we'll start clockwise this time. Going down to the left, down, or to the right, down to the left and up. To the right, down to the left and up. Keeping those hips as stabilized as we can. Deep breaths. 
One more. Wherever you're at, let's switch directions. Counterclockwise this time. To the left, down, to the right, and up. Left, down, right, and up. Nice job. Refill your pet's All medications right. on Chewy We're without leaving home. One more. Just order online. We got a dog food advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bend your knee into your chest, extend your leg long. Uh, let's go into rolling like a ball. So I'm gonna do a roll up to get to that seated position. We have options here. So rolling like a ball, you can do it with me. Or again, this is doing, um, working on some more of those core muscles that you're getting with those sit-ups or those crunches. So feel free to do sit-ups or crunches or follow along with me. Bend your uh, knees, bring your, sitting on your bottom, bring your feet in towards your bottom, heels together, toes apart. So there's just a few inches between my feet and my bottom. I'm gonna bring my arms around the outsides of my legs and then my hands are gonna reach for the insides of my ankles. So I'm giving myself a little hug here. To roll like a ball, you need to have a round back. So tuck your chin to your chest, forehead towards knees, and keep that position. Then lift your feet off the ground, balance on your bottom. Roll back to your shoulder blades, keeping your chin tucked, and then roll back up to your starting position. The goal here is to stay in the same position, same tight ball, and to not extend, and to not use momentum to get back up. I'm using a little bit of momentum right now to cheat, just to let you know. <laughs> Um, but the goal is to stay nice and tight and in one ball. Again, continuing to do sit-ups or crunches if that is what you choose. All right, I did my last one. So now I'm going to lay back down on my back for single leg stretch. So for single leg stretch, we are going to um, bend, have both your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, knees towards the side. Bring your right knee in towards your chest, curl your forehead towards your knees, shoulder blades come off the ground. Take both hands, wrap them around your right shin, extend your left leg long to a 45 degree angle. Then we switch. Hug your left leg in, hugging your hands around your left shin, extending your right leg to a, 90, or a 45 degree angle. Then switch and continue switching, keeping your shoulder blades lifted. So this is a core activation as well as a leg stretch. Nice job, switching, switching. Bring both knees in towards your chest, rest your head. This gives your abs a little bit of a break as we go into double leg stretch. So curl your neck or your forehead back in towards your knees, shoulder blades come off the ground. Now at the same time, our legs are gonna extend straight in front of us, our arms are gonna sweep back behind our head. So our arms are wide, our biceps are by our ears, fingertips long behind us, legs extended. Bring them back in. Bend your knees in towards your chest, bring your arms around nice and wide, give your legs a hug and repeat. Extend everything long in opposite directions, hug everything right back in. Three more times, extend nice and long, hug it back in, extend nice and long, hug it back in. Last time, extend nice and long, hug it back in, rest your head. Now we go to single straight leg stretch. So resting your head, taking this little break if you need. We go into single straight leg stretch. So from here, bending your knees are bent in towards your chest. Curl your forehead back up to activate those ab muscles, shoulder blades come off the ground. Straighten your right leg so that it points towards the ceiling. Take both your hands and reach as high on your right leg as you can towards your ankle. Extend your right leg on a diagonal 45 degrees. 
pointing both your toes. If you're, I'm just reaching above my right knee here, that's okay. Do two quick pulls and then we switch. So pull your right leg towards you twice, switch. Pull your left leg towards you twice, switch. Right leg, switch, left leg. Continue on, keeping those abs engaged, relax the neck. And we started on the right, so wherever you're at, finish on the left, bend your knees into your chest, rest your head. Get another little break for our abs here. Next up is double straight leg stretch. So your head stays rested for this one. Arms go by your sides, palms face down. Arms and palms push into the ground. Extend both legs up straight to the ceiling. Squeeze your legs together. Lower your legs for three counts and then lift for one. So lower two, three to a diagonal, lift one. Lower two, three, lift one. As you do this, keeping your low back glued to the ground. If you find that your low back comes off the ground a little bit, what you can do is you can limit your range of motion here so that your legs don't go as far down. Taking deep breaths. One more wherever you're at. Legs come up to the ceiling. Bend your knees in towards your chest and put your feet back down on the ground. So ankles are underneath knees. Knees are pointed towards the ceiling. Feet are flat on the ground. We go into crisscross. So hands go behind your head. Elbows point wide out to either direction. So um, left elbow points left, right elbow points right. Uh, lift your forehead towards your knees and we do crisscross here. So option to keep your resting leg planted or um, you'll be able to extend it. But opposite elbow towards opposite knee. So bring right knee in towards left elbow, twisting with your upper body. Option to extend that left leg. Then switch. Right, or right elbow to left knee, right leg goes extended to a 45 degree angle, and continue switching. Switch and switch. Keeping lifted between each rotation, keeping your elbows wide so that you're getting the most rotation that you can. More of a opposite armpit or opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Again, option to have the leg bent but resting on the floor. Um, for the one that is not reaching towards your shoulder. And three, two, one, rest. And we have come to, we have come to the end of our warm up flow. So this is a great time to get some water, get a drink. I lost my water bottle here, found it. And then we go into our flow. How's everyone feeling? Everyone's abs warmed up. Everyone's feeling loose. Oh yeah, I just I just took off a layer. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So into our flow, we're gonna start with our spine stretch forward. So this involves a roll up. Feel free to use the roll up or to not use the roll up. So. I'm going to lay on the ground because I'm going to use the roll up, but if you're not going to lay on the ground um, or not do the roll up, you can sit up tall, legs extended in front of you, legs are straight. Okay, so lying on my back on the ground, I have my feet shoulder width apart this time, feet are flexed. I forgot to hit play on the music. Feet are flexed, arms go to the ceiling, and tuck your chin to your chest. Reach your arms forward, lifting one vertebrae at a time. Find stretch forward. So if you're starting from sitting position, this is where you join us. Reach forward, keeping your arms parallel with your legs. So your arms don't reach down to your toes, but rather hover over your toes if you're reaching past your toes. And then you have the option to roll back down to the ground or sit up nice and tall before you take your next reach. So roll all the way up. Reach forward, keeping your, pulling your spine back, but pushing your shoulders forward. Getting a nice round spine. So with our spine stretch forward, it is intended to stretch our spine. We're also naturally stretching our hamstrings. Keep going. 
um, as we reach forward, but getting the most out of our spine stretch, pulling our belly button back, and it's my time. Going, either rolling back, coming up nice and tall, inhaling, and then going for another one. Nice job. All right. One more wherever you're at. Big reach. And then meet us lying down on the ground. So I have my back on the ground, arms by my side, palms face down. Feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent, pointed towards the ceiling. Bring your knees to your chest and then extend your legs straight to the ceiling. This is for corkscrew. So for corkscrew, Keep your legs glued together, push down through your palms, push through your arms. This is gonna help stabilize us. We want our upper body to stay still while our lower body is gonna be making circles. So do a circle to the right with your legs. Make it as big as you need, as small as you need. Once you come back to center, circle to the left. Strong. And alternate at your own pace. Again, make those circles smaller if you're hips are moving, your back is coming off the ground, make those circles bigger if you are completely still. Nice job, keeping those legs nice and straight, pushing your spine towards the ground. Nice job, we started rotating to the right, so finish your rotation on the left. Bend your knees in towards your chest and extend your legs long on the ground. We're gonna go into saw next, which is a nice spine stretch. Um, so come either, feel free to come to a seated position or do a roll up to get there. Once you're in your seated position, feet are about yoga mat, yoga mat distance wide, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart for saw. Sit up nice and tall, arms go into a T shape, so arms are level with your shoulders, palms are face down. Work saw, big inhale, sit nice and tall, and exhale, twist to your right, and then reach your hand towards, your left hand towards the outside of your right toe, and then come back up, untwist, and then reach towards your left. Right hand comes to the outside of your left toe. If you're not quite there, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can. Remember to lengthen as you come through center. You can do this at your own pace. Arms stay at that T shape. Nice deep breath. This is a seated windmill toe touch, if you're familiar with that. Nice stretch through the spine, through the backs of the legs. We started on the right, so we'll end on the left. Sit up nice and tall, hands come down by your side. Our next move is swan. So let's right lay onto our front side of our body. Hands go underneath your shoulders. So palms face down. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Lying on the front side of our body. Feet are glued together, legs are glued together, palms face down, hands underneath our shoulders. Cover your palms off the ground, push your hips into the ground, and pull your belly button up towards the sky. This seems a little counterintuitive, but this will get us engaging the muscles that we need. And then lift your chest off the ground, nose points forward. From here, let your hands reach the ground. Use your hands to assist you to get a little bit higher. Elbows point back. And then hold this position, but release your hands. And come back down and relax. We'll do it again. Lift your hands, lift your chest. Push your hands down, lift your chest. Release your hands and hold. Come back down, let's do it again. Lift your hands, lift your chest. Push your hands down to lift your chest further. Lift your hands, keep chest lifted and lower back down. We do it again. Lift your hands, 
lift your chest. Push your hands down, lift your chest higher. Lift your hands, keeping that position and lower back down. Last time, hips are anchored to the ground. Hands lifted, chest lifted, hands push up, lift hands and relax. Nice job, that was swan. We go into single leg kick. Squeeze those legs together. Elbows come beneath shoulders. So you're propped up on your elbows. Forearms are on the ground. I'm gonna make a light fist with my left hand, wrap my right hand around it. Now, to get the proper engagement, keep your elbows on the ground, but pull them towards your body. That'll, you'll feel a little bit extra engagement there. And then keeping those legs squeezed, push those hips into the ground again, pull that belly button up. For single leg kick, we are going to kick, keep our, the tops of our legs on the ground, lift our bot the bottom of our leg. Now kick your right heel towards your bottom twice, two kicks quickly, kick, kick, and then switch. Left foot, kick, kick, and switch. So this is a hamstring stretch as well as starting our low back work that we just built off in that swan. Keep going. Keep our shoulders away from our ears, nice and relaxed. We started on the right, so we'll end on the left. So wherever you're at, end on the left here. We go into double leg kick next. Okay, so for double leg kick, your chest lowers to the ground, right ear to the ground. Put your hands on your back, so your palms are face up, hands are stacked on top of each other. Let your elbows fall to the ground on either side of you. This is a little bit of a reverse shoulder opener. And from here, squeeze those legs together. You're gonna do three kicks of your heels towards your bottom. So one, two, three, extend those long. Hook your thumbs together. Extend your arms long behind you with your chest and nose points forward. So the swan prepped us for this. Bring your hands back to your starting position, hands on your back, elbows to your side, left ear comes to the ground this time. Squeeze those legs together, three kicks. And I squeeze three. Keep those um, thumbs together, extend your arms long behind you with your chest. And repeat. Right ear to the ground. Right ear to the ground. Three kicks, one, two, three, those elbows, those thumbs. Reach those arms behind you, chest lifts, those points forward. Re left ear to the ground. Three kicks. One, two, three. Extend those arms. Chest lifts, those points Switch right ear to the ground. One, two, three. Lift. And left ear to the ground. One, two, three. Lift. All right. And relax. Nice job. We go into our neck to the neck. Which means we will onto our back. I, get, I say this every single time, this exercise is called neck pull, but we're not going to pull our necks. We don't want to injure our necks. So we'll do it with proper form and I'll walk us through that. So, for neck pull, arms are, or sorry, legs are shoulder width apart. We're lying on our back. Your hands are stacked behind your head, elbows point wide. Um, you'll do a roll up or a sit up in this position to come to straight. Um, so that your body, your torso is straight up, you're sitting. Um, I personally am going to modify and do a roll up. So my arms are going to come up, pointing towards the ceiling. So let's all roll up to a seated position. From this seated position, my hands are going to go behind my head. And then I'm going to, this is where one of the next pulls comes. You're going to arch your back, point your nose towards the ground. And the hands behind your head are just helping guide elongate. Elongate your neck towards your toes and then lift up so you're sitting up nice and tall. From here, again, this is another um, neck pull. You're not pulling with your hands, but rather with your muscles. Um, head goes towards the ceiling. Hinge back with a straight back as far as you can on a back diagonal. Once you can't go any further, round your back one vertebrae at a time to lower slowly down to the mat. And we repeat. Let roll up to a seated position. Hands are behind our head. Nose points down towards our knees, getting a nice stretch. Lift your head up, back is nice and tall. Extend back at a diagonal. 
back is straight when she can go no further. Round your back one vertebrae at a time, goes back down to the ground. One more. Lift up, roll up, hands behind head, nose to knees, sitting up nice and tall, and hinging back at the waist. Rounding your back down one vertebrae at a time as you come down to your lying position. Next up, we go to shoulder bridge. Okay. So relax here, shake anything out that you need. We go into shoulder bridge. Feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Arms by your side, palms face down. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling so that you have a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Pushing through your palms will help you um, accomplish this. Your knees should be stacked directly over your ankles. From here, this is, here are your options. Option one, lower your hips, lift your hips. Lower your hips, lift your hips. You can take that option, feel free to do that. If you'd like to follow along with me, bend your right knee in towards your chest. Right foot comes off the ground. Right foot points towards the ceiling and you're going to flex your foot. Lower your right leg so it comes even with your left thigh, keeping those hips raised. Point your toe, lift your leg back up to the ceiling. Repeat, flex, lower, point, lift. Flex, lower, point, lift. Flex, lower, point, lift. Last one, flex to lower, point to lift. Bend your right knee into your chest and then put your right foot back down on the ground. You're balancing on both legs again. Doesn't that feel good? Now we repeat on the left side. Again, if you're doing um, hips lower and lift, keep doing that. Bend your left knee into your chest. Lift your left leg so it points straight towards the ceiling. Flex your foot. Lower your foot towards um, the same level as your right thigh. Point to lift. Flex to lower, point to lift. Flex to lower, point to lift. Flex to lower, point to lift. Last one, flex to lower, point to lift. Bend your knee into your chest and rest your left foot. Now slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lower your back down to the ground, ending with your tailbone. And shake it out, we did shoulder bridges. All right, now we're gonna go into spine twist. So either do a roll up or come to seated your way. Spine twist. For a spine twist, glue your legs together. Extend them long in front of you. Flex your feet towards the ceiling. Legs glued, arms back into that T shape. So arms are level with your shoulders, palms face down. Let's do some twists. So inhale here, nice and tall. And exhale, twist to the right. And then you're gonna hold it for three, two, one and twist center inhale exhale twist left hold it deeper three two one come back to center big inhale and exhale to twist three two one inhale to center let's keep going exhale to the left three two one go at your own pace here keep twisting turn those shoulders towards the direction you're pointing. Keep the lower body nice and still. Nice job. Getting big inhales and those exhales will aid us in stretching further. We started on the right, so end on the left wherever you're at. Rest your arms down by your side. We go into our side kicks next. Okay, so side kicks. We're gonna do our series on one side and then we'll do that same exact series on the other side. So I'm gonna lay on my left side first. So, uh, lay on the left side of your body so that your right hip is pointed towards the ceiling. You have some options here. You can use your left arm as a pillow. You can have your left elbow directly underneath your shoulder. You can have your elbow bent and have your hand, head rest in your hand, whatever you wanna do. Whatever feels most comfortable and whatever's gonna help you be most successful. Okay, so I'm in a straight line right now from head to toe. Legs are stacked on top of each other. Right hip points towards the to the sky. Right shoulder points towards the sky. 
I'm gonna take my legs and just lift them up and bring them forward a little bit so I'm no longer in a perfect straight line. Um, from here, take your right hand, point it or put it down on the ground in front of your torso, your chest, wherever's gonna help you stabilize as we do some things with our legs. We're gonna do side kicks front and back first. So lift your right leg up towards the sky to hip height. Flex your foot. You're going to do two small kicks forward and then two small kicks backward. Flex your heel for the forward, point your heel for the backward. Keeping your leg on the same plane as your hip. So two kicks forward, two kicks backward. Continue on at your own pace. Kick, 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 kick. Your hand here, your right hand is helping stabilize your upper body so it doesn't wiggle too much. Your core, pulling your belly button into your spine, is gonna help stabilize you as well as we work through the muscles in our hips, our glutes. Deep breaths. All right, bring your um, right leg over your left leg once again. Those were our front and back kicks. Now we're gonna go up and down. Flex that top foot, your right foot. Lift it up to the ceiling as far as it's comfortable and then back down. I lift it maybe a foot, maybe 12 inches. Lift it up, lower it back down. Keeping the, your right leg centered over your left leg. Going up and down, up and down. All right, from here, we're gonna do small circles. So, keeping that foot flexed, bring your foot back around and up, back around and up, making a small circle. My circle is probably eight inches around. Um, brush your ankles together as you come through. To That could be your marker to know that your circle is exactly over your bottom leg, keeping it nice and centered, targeting those muscles that we want to target. You should feel this in your side glutes by your hip. And now we're gonna reverse directions. Nice reverse, forward, up and back, forward, up and back. All right, we're gonna add a new one in here called inner thigh circles. So this one takes some hip flexibility, so I'll offer a modification. Um, but bend your right knee in towards your chest, and then you're going to plant your right foot in front of your left hip. That is a lot of hip rotation. So if needed, you can always place your bent leg behind your left leg. So if you need to plant your foot behind your left leg, that's fine. If you wanna plant it, challenge your hip mobility, plant it in front of your uh, left leg, that's fine too. Upper body, everything stays in the same place. Um, this one's gonna be working on inner thighs for our left leg. So lift your left leg up towards the ceiling and do circles. So this range of motion isn't gonna be that high, um, but you're gonna be doing circles with your left leg. Whatever direction you choose, I ended up going clockwise. And reverse directions. Nice job. All right, and rest that leg. We finish there and we switch to our other side. So let's lay on our right side now. So laying on your right side in a straight line, option to use your right arm as a pillow. Have your right arm bent, elbow underneath shoulder, or you can bend your elbow and have your head rest in the palm of your right hand. Up to you, whatever is gonna make you most successful. Left hand, palm face down, comes to the ground in front of your chest or your torso. Flip those legs up a little bit more forward so you're no longer in a straight line. And we do our front kicks, or our side kicks front and back. So lift up your left leg so it's level with hip height. Flex your foot, two kicks forward, point your foot for two kicks. Flex forward, point back. Here, your, the more weight you put into your left palm, the more you'll balance. 
The more you pull your belly button back into your spine, the more stability you'll feel. You need to shorten your range of motion to make yourself more successful. Shorten that range of motion. Nice job. Couple more here. And stack your left leg hovering over your right leg once again. Flex that foot up and down. Lift that leg up towards the ceiling and then lower it back down. Up and down. Mine's about eight inches to a foot. Choose your range of motion, what works for you. I have very limited mobility in my hips. Up and down, up and down. All right, we move to small circles. Make a circular motion with that top leg, brushing your ankles as you come through center. Nice job. My circles are about eight inches around. Really feeling that in my side glutes here. And reverse direction. Nice job. All right, now we get to that tricky one. Take a rest. We're gonna do our inner thigh circles. So again, bend your left knee in towards your chest. Plant your left foot either in front or behind your right leg. And let's lift our, our, our right leg off the ground just a few inches and do some circles here. These are called inner thigh circles. So you're using your inner thigh to pull up towards the ceiling and then release it back down in that circular motion. Keeping your body stable. And first direction. Nice job. All right, nice job. Take a rest, shake it out. We are gonna go into our teaser. Oh, so difficult. I'm gonna get a sip of water real quick just because my throat's a little dry. Okay. For our teaser, option for sit-ups or crunches, option to try the full teaser, also option to modify your way. If you have a way of doing it, feel free. So lie on your back, feet planted on the floor, knees bent towards the ceiling. Bring your knees in towards your chest, lift your forehead towards your knees, shoulder blades come off the ground. Legs extend to a 45 degree angle. For a typical teaser, you extend your arms so that your arms are parallel with your legs at 45 degree angle. Fingertips are reaching towards your toes. And you'll engage your core. Lift your shoulder blades up off the ground to balance in a, on your bottom in a little bit of a V shape. And then roll back down. These are very challenging for me. So I can imagine that they are probably challenging for some of you as well. So feel free to do some crunches with your legs in the air, how to do sit-ups with your legs in the air, whatever works for you. I have trouble holding the balance position, so how I modify is I come up and then I go, try to go down slowly, as slowly as I can. Nice job. All right, bend your knees in towards your chest. Let your head come to the ground. Or those are teasers. Next up is swimming. So we lay onto our stomachs. So on your stomach here, um, swimming. Extend your arms long in front of you, legs long behind you. And for swimming, you're going to push your hips into the ground, pull your belly button up. Lift your arms and legs off the ground so that they're hovering. And then raise your left leg and your right arm higher than your others. And then switch. So opposite leg and opposite arm are um, up towards the ceiling and then switch at your own pace, eventually building towards a fluttering pace. Switch, 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 switch. Taking nice deep breaths. And three, two, one, rest. All right, I'm gonna add a little stretch in here. So arms are gonna go underneath 
or hands rather, are gonna go underneath your shoulders, elbows point back. Squeeze those legs together. And then push your hips in, pull your abs up, and lift your chest off the ground. We're just gonna do a neck roll. So relax your shoulders away from your ears. Turn your, your nose to the left. Bring it back center. Turn your nose to the right. Bring it back center. Do it a couple more times. Turn to the left. Pushing your legs down into the ground. Turn to the right. One more. Turn to the left. And turn to the right. Awesome. All right, we go into our push-ups. So options here, wall push-ups. Option to do push-ups on your knees or option to follow through this little push-up flow. That is how you do push-ups in Pilates. So, standing tall, I have, I'm at the end of my mat so that I'm facing the long end of my mat because I'm gonna be walking my arms forward into a plank position. So, arms go up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath. Then forward fold, arms come down, hands go to the ground. Bend your knees if you need to. Walk your hands out so that you come into a plank position. Straight, straight line from your head to your heels. Then three push-ups. Bend your arms, come up, three push-ups. Doesn't matter how far you go down. If you can't go down all the way, that's okay. Hike your hips back up to the sky. Walk your hands back to your feet. Lift your arms up towards the ceiling, and we start again. Standing up nice and tall, deep breath. Bend down, over fold. Walk your hands out to a plank position, three push-ups. Try to tuck those elbows back towards your rib cage, and hike those hips up after your three push-ups. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Standing up nice and tall, arms come with you. Fingertips point towards the ceiling. Last round of these. Take a big inhale. Roll down, forward fold. Walk your hands out to a plank position. Three push-ups. One, two, three. Pike those hips up. Walk your hands back. Stand up, nice and tall. Okay, I have our challenge activity. And then we end with our stretch. So. Our challenge activity today is a plank pike to toe touch. So I'm gonna get down to my plank position. So hands underneath shoulders, and my heels are over my toes, straight line from my head to, head to my toes. You're gonna go into from the plank into a pike position. So lift your hands or lift your hips up to the ground, to the ceiling rather, and then take your hand. If you stop here, that's fine. Take one hand and reach it towards, so right hand reaches towards left foot. I can only go about to my left knee, so if that's you too, that's fine. Come back down to plank position, and then do the opposite side. Pike up, left hand reaches towards right foot, right knee, plank position. Let's do a couple more each side. Pike up, opposite reach, come back to a plank. Pike up, opposite reach, Come back to a plank. Hike, reach, plank. Hike, reach, plank. Hike, reach, plank. Hike, reach, plank. I'm gonna do one set, one more set on each side. Hike, reach, plank. Hike, reach, plank. And from here I come down and relax. Shake it out. Nice job. Okay, I'm gonna pause these tunes and put on some cool down tunes here. Okay, I got a sip of water. We are gonna go into our cool down stretches now. Okay, I'm gonna get into my cat cow position on the ground. So hands come underneath shoulders, knees come underneath hips. Toes are, or the tops of my feet are flat on the ground so my toes are not curled under. I'm going to bend my belly low, dip it nice and low, point my nose forward, taking some nice deep breaths. And feel free to go through cat-cow at your own pace. So this is cow, 
Cat, you'll tuck your chin to your chest to lift your spine towards the ground. Push through your palms, stretching your spine in the opposite direction. So we have our spine do like a rainbow and then we want to do a U shape. Moving through ranges of motion here. Nice deep breath. Nice job. All right, curl your toes under here. We go into that pike position. So hips go up, arms and legs are straight, upside down V-shape. Push those heels down to the ground. That's gonna give you extra stretch through the backs of your legs, through your calves. And when you're ready, come down to a lying position on your back. Once on your back. Hug your right knee into your chest. The left leg goes long. If you choose to do some ankle circles here, please feel free. Take advantage of your ankle being in the sky here. We're gonna switch it up a little bit here. So I'm gonna release my right hand and put it to a T to the right side of me. So my right palm faces down, level with my shoulder. And then I'm gonna use my left hand to guide my right knee over towards the left side of my body and go only as far as you can. Point your nose to the right. So this is gonna stretch out some glutes action here that you might've felt in those sidekick series. It's gonna stretch out your spine. If your knee comes all the way over, great. Mine does not. <laughs> and then untwist. Let's let our left knee come in, hug our left knee extender, left, or our right leg long. Left knee in, right leg long. <laughs> nice deep breaths here. Do some ankle circles if you choose. All right. From here, left arm goes into a T on the ground, so arms level with shoulder, um, palm face down. Use your right arm to guide your left knee towards the right side of your body, towards the ground. Point your nose to the left, feeling a nice stretch through your spine and through your glutes, where we just targeted those side kicks. Nice deep breath. and untwist. Both arms into a T now. Bend both knees in. So shins go parallel with the ceiling. Knees are over hips. And let your knees both fall to the right this time, as far as is comfortable. Point your nose to the left. So this time we do that twist with both knees that we just did. Deep breath. Unwind from here. Knees fall to the left, nose points to the right. Nice deep breath. Knees come center, shake it out. Maybe give yourself a little hug, rock side to side in a little ball. And come to a seated position. Extend your legs long in front of you, squeeze those legs together. Reach your arms forward towards your toes, stretching out the backs of your legs here, stretching out your spine as well. Deep breaths. On an inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then on an exhale, reach again towards your toes, seeing if you can get further with your reach this time. Come out of that. Next up, butterfly. Bring both of your, the bottoms of your feet together in front of you. Knees are bent, pointed out to either side. So options here. Deeper stretch, pull your feet in towards your body, hinge forward at the waist, point your knees further out to the sides. Less of a stretch, feet go further away from you. Knees point a little bit upwards towards the ceiling and you'll sit up a little bit straighter. 
nice deep breaths. This should feel good after those inner thigh circles, stretching out our inner thighs here. All right, now straighten your right leg and have it out at a diagonal, keeping your left leg in. Reach your right arm down long by your right leg. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling and then up and over to your right. So you're getting a stretch not only through the right leg here, but through the left side of your body. Nice deep breath. Sit up nice and tall, and then we switch. Left leg extends long, bend your right leg in. Right or left arm goes down long by your left leg. Right arm comes up and over, reaching towards the left. Stretch through your right leg and through, or through your left leg and through the right side of your body. Come back up to center. And we go into child's pose to finish it out with a nice spine stretch. So getting into your tabletop position, which is hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Point your knees outwards just a little bit, 10 and 2 o'clock. Bring your toes together behind you. Sink your bottom back towards your heels. Reach your arms long towards on the ground. Fingertips reach forward, which brings your chest and your forehead near the ground. Stretching out, the further you reach your arms forward and sink your bottom back towards your heels, the more you'll get a stretch through your spine. Nice deep breaths. All right, I'm going to stop our recording here.